Good morning, guys. Welcome to today. I got Ellie here. She wants to nap. She's following me around crying because she wants me to sit down so she can nap on me. And I do that. I do that for her. Before we start today's vlog, I wanted to give you guys a quick update on our baby chicks. So I don't know if you guys can see. Sure, put the light. It's really hard to see. But so this one here is pipping. If you guys can see just over on this side, it's pipping and it's rolling around in there. Oh, we had so much trouble with our incubator this time. With our incubator. See, she wants me to pick her up. Come here. Oh, you hear daddy? Come here. Come on. So the problem with low humidity in our incubator is that baby chicks can, the membrane, the membranes surrounding the baby chick can dry out and then it can be impossible for them to crack through there. So hopefully I cut it in time and that baby chick will be able to get out on its own. If not, we'll be able to help it, which I hate interfering, but if we have to, we have to, and hopefully everything goes smoothly from now until tomorrow when they should all be hatched. A bird flew into my head. So, <laughs> and then you caught it? You put your hands in your head and, went, and caught it? I was like, what? It hit me, it hit right here. And I was like, Gabby, why are you throwing stuff at me? And then I looked around and Molly was at something sniffing it. And it was in the snow right next to me. Aww, I'm right, thinking well, it's just cold. All right, well, let's go let him go. Also, this is Ellie's first little walk in the snow. <laughs> She's like, why would you put me on the ground? Come on. It hasn't tried to fly away yet. Come on. She's like, I thought it was a princess. <laughs> Oh, it's probably stunned. It's probably cold. Do you want to try and keep him warm yeah. for a few minutes? It's That's okay. what we've done before. All right, I'll be right there. Don't let him go like we did before. It's probably in shock. <laughs> Look, she can walk. <laughs> She's following Sophie. She's like, we'll go inside. Did you guys know that dogs developmentally, or at least little dogs, don't really learn to walk on a leash until 12 weeks? I mean, they can. But everything that I've always done with my little dogs before, well, it, it's probably old fashioned, but in the past, um, I, when we've always trained our dogs to walk on a leash, we've always waited till 12 weeks. It could have changed by now. Ellie, what's wrong? You're outside. <laughs> She's like, I don't really like it. Every time the dogs run out, she's shaking. Every time the dogs run outside, she always is so excited and thinks that she wants to go with them. Uh, but then she always stops at the door when the cold air comes in. Anyway, she's not acclimatized to cold. <laughs> not yet. We just heard clop, clop, clop. My puppy just fell down the stairs. Yeah, that's the way life is going. Anyway, Sophie has this bird inside now. She wanted to fly around when she was in here. I think she's stunned and it just takes a few minutes. So. Sylvie's trying to warm her up a little bit and then we're gonna let her go. Hello, Ellie Bear. <laughs> Did you have a rough day? Ellie's already grown so much that her coat that she had on hardly fits her anymore. That's how much she's grown. She's mostly grown longer, not fatter. She thinks you guys are a treat. Try number two, go little birdie. <laughs> Why isn't he going? Throw him up in the air. Yay! He's gone! Uh-oh, he's coming back! Um, how did you get in the chair? <laughs> how did that happen? He climbed over the couches. All right, we got a package. Oh, you in to see Dada. Oh. I love it. Clickers. And? Whatever that is. Clickers and what? Oh, dog treat pouches. We got pouches, you guys. Let's show you. Daddy dog. Hey, daddy oh. dog. Daddy dog. She's mommy's dog. Daddy dog. Mommy's dog. Daddy dog. The white and black. So, first of all, we got all these new clickers. Oh, they're so much better than the one that I spent. I spent twelve ninety five for one at the at the pet store, and this is twenty dollars for six, and they're a we million times better. We don't need those. Why? Oh, the bags that you ordered came with clickers. Two clickers each? Sure. Wait. Maybe one clicker. I don't know. No, two. Oh, wow. I think they all all right. So we are in the clickers now. That's perfect. So, Sophie, now when we're training, especially your, your baby. They all come with the same color. Sophie's really hoping to show some 
shows at the fairs this summer with her minis. But these are nice bags. Thanks, Sam. Sam ordered these for us. They're, uh oh. <laughs> oh, these are actually for dogs. And wait, did I take? Did I? Came, so it comes with two straps? Yeah. Hmm. So these are actually for dogs, but these are perfect because you can fill this up with treats. And it has a belt buckle and it has a strap, or it actually has two straps. But it actually has other pockets too. So you can store your clickers in here, Sophie, so that you. Yeah, they're nice. And then it would else? So then it has like a uh, potty bag. I like these. And then it has another bag. Oh no, that's the same bag. Oh no, it has two pack, two spots for poop bags. These are really nice. I like them. Perfect job. Good job, Sam. Sam ordered them. This is annoying loud. This is not. So that's our old one that we spent twelve ninety nine on, or eleven ninety nine on. And then these are our new ones. What was that? I don't know. Ruby got left in the barn. I can't believe it. Call dad. We're gonna call dad and send her up to the house. She's probably freezing. She's moving to stay warm. What happened to our very first baby chick of the season? It died. It died. How come it died? Because it didn't like us. <laughs> No. <laughs> it was just like, eh, I've lived too long. So we got the eggs first, and then we turned on the incubator, and it works good. It seems to be working good, except for the thermostat seems to be giving like weird readings. Like, it'll be perfect. It'll be perfect, and then it won't be. Like, it, in the blink of an eye. Come here, honey. Come on. Come on. Come on, sweet girl. Come on. They're running in the snow. today. Hello, baby. Wow. Good girl. Hello. I didn't even have that recording. Shoot, we missed Gracie. Gracie was the next one to us. Come on, Penny. Hopefully I got Gracie running. It was adorable. She's the only one that ran. Well, her and... Keep the little hair. Keep the little uh -oh. hair. Wait, my hands are frozen. I'm going to put my gloves on. Okay, so today is the last day that I'm going to do this, this specific thing. I wanted to do three different tricks with three different ponies all in three days. And so that's what today is. Today is the last one I'm going to try and teach Penny a trick. Um, we were most successful, I feel like, with Gracie, but we still don't have her like free jumping. We want her to like actually free jump. Uh, we have her walking over the jumps, which is a huge... Uh, accomplishment I think. So our priority this month of March is to teach all of our horses to stay out of our space. The way Sophie showed you she's been teaching the mini. Penny still hasn't come. So this is the finale. Hopefully if Penny comes we can't stay down too long because it's so cold and it's getting dark out. So here's my treat bag. I have it like a crossbody strap. How's yours? Mine's around my waist. Sophie has hers around her waist and so we have different treats in there. I like these because it's easier so, to just grab one. It opens super wide, room for extra clickers, and then I put my clicker on, like I put it on here, so that I could use it and keep both I'll hands show you free. How mine's set up. Okay, show them how yours so, is set up. In this pocket's the other strap, and then in this, there's the clickers, and then in the pocket back here. There is nothing. And Sophie's choosing to use her ra um, waist strap. Gabby, how's your treat bag set up? Why'd you take it off? It's annoying. <laughs> so uh, she had hers on her pocket or on her jeans. So she's got, oh, that's an interesting idea. She's got two clickers hooked up, two identical clickers. I have just one blue one. Um, she has them both attached to different areas and then she's using this strap to keep it on her waist. Super cool. I'll have it linked below if you guys are looking for a super fun treat bag. How it does up, here I'll show you. So you just, oh you have to pull it and then you, you have to push that thing against it. Yeah, so it's just one of those things. And then, oh, when it's not full it closes really, really tight. Okay, don't take treats Okay, so are we ready? Look, she's already ready. She's so excited. Let's try and get her to run and jump. So like just use momentum. So we want her to run. Come on, run, 
good girl. Oh. <laughs> go, 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 go. <laughs> she still slows down. Uh, target, target, go. <laughs> She's getting faster. Come on, come on. Good girl! She did it! We did it! <laughs> Kathy's like, shut up, you are crazy. Good girl, that's what we wanted! Come on, let's go back to my end. Come on, come on, let's go! Let's go! Yes! It's be I think it's because I have like a lot longer of an area for her to actually pick up a trot. Okay. Come on, let's go. Let's go, go. Yes, good girl. So she's getting it. I'm so proud of that. Oh, I see what's happening. No, he chose up there. I know, but he's really close to those eggs. So that's probably why the birds. The dead ones, the dead ones, yeah, sure. That is probably why the birds are all in a tither, tizzy because the cat's up there. Gabby's trying to catch him. Come on, Owie. Uh, but that's probably why the egg is half out of the nest, too. He uh, goes up there. I know, but he probably goes up there because there's birds he could eat. Why don't you just... Gabby, I tried that. Yes! Good girl, you're a genius. All right, let's see if Sophie can do it. So she is trying. Cross over. Yes! She's doing it! So this is three days, you guys, from start to finish. Not that we're finished. Good girl. I'm relying on you to click. So I know, I keep forgetting to click. So we've never used clickers before, so it's, it's a bit tricky getting used to it. I love it attached to my pouch here. Cross over. Cross over. Yes! So she's crossing over. She's just not crossing over super far. But that's just a work in progress. So getting her to like cross over her feet and then. Cross over. Cross over. No. Here. Come here. Over here. Eventually we can add like her spin and her crossover all together and some more things that we're going to teach her into. No. See, we can, we can eventually turn all this into line dancing. So the thing I'm gonna do with Penny is gonna be harder because I don't know how to do it. But that's just how I rule. Okay, so I have this ball, and you guys know Penny likes balls, and I wanna teach her to fetch. So this is only our first time, we've never done this before. So I'm gonna try and teach her target. Penny, target. Target. Good girl. Good girl. I just want to make sure you guys can see. Anything else can see? Okay. Target. Good girl. Yeah. Good girl. Okay, so now I'm going to put it on the ground. Penny. Target. Target. You have to catch it. Good girl. Good girl. Oh, Holly, you missed your chance. Where the cats can I'm trying to protect their nest. No. Okay, so that pigeon's sitting on the nest, Mom. The pigeon is chasing the other pigeon. Target, it's over. Towards oh, Ollie. Ollie is such an orange cat Target. name. Target. Good girl. Oliver is way better. Okay. Target. Target. Good girl. Good girl. Target. Way down here. Target. Target. Good girl. Yeah. All right. So I'm probably gonna leave it there for today. Remember, every horse is having three days to learn this thing, and this is our first day. She wasn't touching the target on the ground before. This is the ball that I want her to fetch for me eventually. Target. Penny. Target. Look. It's right here. Look. Look. Target. It might be because it's too hard for her to see. Target. Target. You still want to think about. Target. Target.
All right, so this is only actually Willow's Hold second on. day. And Sophie's right. figured it out. Cross over. Good girl! She didn't do it perfectly. Perfectly crossed over, but she knows what to do. She gets it. So you're going to want to try. The next step is for you to do it too. No, I am Because then you'll be able to cross over, cross over, cross over. What do you mean, the <laughs> <laughs> that's okay you guys short sweet sessions that's all we want to do is just short little sessions with our horses okay so just before we end our little training sesh I wanted to tell you my plan with Penny so I'm getting her to touch this target so I'm getting her to like at first I got her to touch it up high then lower and lower until she can touch it on the ground eventually I want to be able to push it and then her walk to the target and then touch the target and then eventually I want her to pick up the target and then eventually the next step is for her to return the target to me. So that's my plan with Penny. I'm gonna keep one of these clickers in my room so I can just... <laughs> Every time your parent annoys you, click, 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 click. <laughs> so the trouble that we're having is finding a way to incorporate the clickers. Like it's actually physically easier to see. Like when I'm editing the videos back, I can see the exact second that we have to click, but we're managing so many things in our hands at one time that sometimes we're unable to click. And also, I think maybe putting the clicker around my wrist and using it as a wrist, <laughs> wrist strap might work better. <laughs> Penny's like, listen, I'm not done. Literally, in the past, all the groundwork that we've ever really learned through our regular riding have been like how to lead a horse and how to catch a horse and how like things like picking up their feet and things like that. We've never learned like actual more extensive groundwork. But I think that's like showmanship. And we've never taken showmanship classes. We've only just done hunters and jumpers. So it makes sense that we would never have been taught all that stuff. But man, yes. You're helping me mature. It's fun. I'm helping you mature? Yes, open the door. Oh, bossy. See, see what I mean? All right. Come on, baby. Sophie left. I guess it's because, come on. She's not used to me. It's probably because Sophie does morning chores and Gabby does nighttime chores. Come on. Come on. No. No. Oh. <laughs> Gabby's like, what the heck? You had one job. Oh, before I end this video, I wanted to tell you guys, you probably already all know, that Jen from Barn Boots and Country Roots got two new horses. Two new horses, and I'm so excited. I'm hoping that I can get her, talk her into doing a clinic with me. I have a clinic already picked out that I'm dying to do with Penny right up my alley, like the things that I love to do. So I'm hoping that I can get her to do it with one of her new horses. And I'm so excited. Like now that my friend has a horse that she can ride and we can do stuff together, uh, comment below what the, what kind of horse did she get? If you guys know already, comment below what breed she got. So super exciting. It's her dream breed. If you don't know, go check it out at Barn Boots and Country Roots and then come back and tell me and post what breed she got. And I want to tell you that another baby's hatching. Is another baby hatching? Yeah, it's yeah. the blue egg. Yeah, the blue egg. So hopefully that our first baby was a girl. It was gray and white and so adorable. Oh man, it was so cute. It was it like just, silver and white. Yeah, it had, a, it had a hard hatch and probably because, like I said, I was having problems with my incubator and... I don't know. We'll just have to see what happens. Hopefully some of them hatch and are okay. Don't you know that you're beautiful?